Hello friends, welcome to the channel Dudier Academy. In this video, I am discussing the topic trachoma. What is trachoma? Trachoma is also known as rough eye. It is a disease of the eye caused by infection with the bacterium Chlamydia trachomatis. So it is uh, the term is derived from the ancient Greek uh, meaning word meaning. So trachoma it is an infectious eye disease and it is the leading cause of world's infectious blindness and it is caused by the bacterium Chlamydia trachomatis. The incubation period of this disease is 5 to 12 days. Incubation period is 5 to 12 days and the most common infected age group is 2 to 5 years. The most common infected age group of trachoma or rough eye is 2 to 5 years. Then regarding the communicability we can say the trachoma is a disease of low infectivity. The predisposing factors of trachoma is direct sunlight then smoke and irritants like kajal and surma. So these are the predisposing factors for causing a trachoma and trachoma is the leading preventable cause of blindness worldwide. It is the leading preventable cause of blindness worldwide and it is the commonest infectious cause of blindness in the world. So which is the commonest infectious cause of blindness in the world? It is trachoma. And it is considered as the third leading cause of blindness worldwide after cataract and glaucoma. Uh, it is the third leading cause of blindness worldwide. Then it is the main cause of irreversible blindness due to the infection that can however, however be prevented. That means it is the main cause of irreversible blindness. So trachoma is the leading preventable cause of blindness and it is the infectious commonest infectious cause of blindness also it is the third leading cause of blindness worldwide and it is the main cause of irreversible blindness then regarding the mode of transmission first is through the direct or indirect contact with ocular discharges or formites so mainly young children bear the heaviest burden of trachoma infections and it is spread by direct contact with eyes, nose and throat secretions from affected individuals or it can be through contact with formites. Then eye seeking flies that is uh, the transmission can takes place when bacteria move from eyes of young children to the eyes of an uninfected person through flies that is eye seeking flies mainly musca domestica flies then it can also be transmitted as venereal transmission so these are the modes of transmission direct or indirect contact with ocular discharges or formites then eye seeking flies like musca domestica and venereal transmission then the signs of trachoma first it is causing bulbar congestion trachoma the clinical manifestations include bulbar congestion velvety papillary hypertrophy velvety papillary hypertrophy then follicles are seen in upper tarsal conjunctiva. Follicles are seen in upper tarsal conjunctiva. Then next is pannus that is fine sub-epithelial neovascularization mainly seen at upper limbus and cornea. Pannus is an important sign seen in trachoma. And herbert pits means these follicles may cause regression and that leads to depressed round thin areas which are known as herbert pits that is the regression of the follicles leads to some kind of a scar formation called herbert pits so these are the signs of trachoma bulbar congestion velvety papillary hypertrophy follicles in the upper tarsal conjunctiva mainly then panis and herbert pits herbert pits 
herpet pits means follicle like infiltrations seen near the limbus then who has recommended the safe strategy who recommended safe strategy for uh, the management or the uh, treatment of trachoma so s in indicates surgery surgery for trichiasis and entropion s is surgery for trichiasis and entropion then antibiotic use antibiotic use mainly azithromycin is the drug of choice then facial cleanliness and environmental improvement facial cleanliness and environmental improvement so facial cleanliness in children reduces the risk and severity of active trachoma and environmental change activities include the promotion of improved water supplies and household sanitation particularly the methods of safe disposal of human feces the flies that transmit the trachoma preferentially they lay their eggs on human feces lying exposed on the soil so these are important environmental improvement and facial cleanliness is important so the who has recommended safe strategy for the management of trachoma then for the mass treatment indication for mass treatment in trachoma include greater than greater than 10% prevalence of trachoma in children less than 10 years so if there is greater than 10% increase of the prevalence of moderate and severe trachoma in children uh, who are less than 10 years there is that, that indicates the mass treatment for trachoma the next is the antibiotic therapy WHO recommend two antibiotics for trachoma control that is oral azithromycin and tetracycline eye ointment so first choice of antibiotic that is the antibiotic of choice for treating active trachoma is azithromycin and the dose for children is 20 mg per kg in a single dose and adult receive a single dose of 1 g so the first choice is antibiotic of choice is azithromycin and the dose is 20 mg per kg as a single dose for children and for adults it is single dose of 1 g and the second line treatment is topical tetracycline eye ointment 1% so tetracycline is the second line treatment so this topical tetracycline is applied to both eyes twice a day for 6 weeks so thank you thank you for watching this video